everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I am back with another part of a series that has been a little while since I've uploaded, uh, which is my state series where I am slowly going through and creating builds inspired by all 50 states in the US. Uh, these are inspired by a combination of facts that I find online about each state as well as Zillow listings. And it is a combination of like more realistic things that you're seeing in every home and some quirky things that I have found in the listings along the way. For example, in the very first home that I did in this series, which was for Wyoming, we had some really fun colored walls and carpeted bathrooms because that was just something that I found along my searches. It's meant to be a fun series, a little bit of a learning experience for us all so we can learn about each of these states and uh, just a way to create some different builds. So as you can see from the title of this video, we are tackling Texas today. And I actually started this build, the footage you're seeing right now, back in July. And for some reason, I just never finished it. I wasn't sure if I wasn't happy with it, what it was, but I just kind of left it for months. But we are finally back and finishing this build. Of course, this was inspired by the release of the Horse Ranch expansion pack. And so I wanted to do something a little bit more ranch inspired in Texas. And it was something I was getting a lot of requests to do since we hadn't tackled this state yet. Uh, so another thing that I do in all of the state series videos is while we're going through the build, I also talk about a lot of the facts I wrote down, give you a little bit of history of the state and fun facts as well. So jumping right on in to the state of Texas, uh, Texas became the 28th state on December 29th, 1845, and it is bordered by New Mexico in the northeast, Oklahoma in the north and northeast, Arkansas, Louisiana, and the Gulf of Mexico in the east, and Mexico to the southeast. The capital of Texas is Austin, and the most populous city is Houston, which has 2.313 million people, and it, that is the fourth most populous city in all of the United States. Uh, with that, Texas is the second largest state in the U.S., followed like it's right behind Alaska. Alaska is the largest. But Texas does have the second highest population in the country with 29.9 million residents, and it is second only to California. And to really kind of draw in and explain how large Texas actually is, it is larger than Italy, the UK, and Greece combined. And with how large the state of Texas was, I wasn't able to capture literally everything that is that state in this one build. I did look at a variety of different towns and cities, of course, the capitals and areas that are more likely to resemble uh, the world of Chestnut Ridge that we are building on here in the Horse Ranch expansion pack. Uh, because I really wanted to use a lot of these items and I felt like they really worked nicely. There's so many items in this pack that I was seeing pretty similar versions of in all of the listings I was seeing. And of course, I have a lot of viewers here who live in Texas or have family there or used to live there. And there were a lot of items that you were like, I recognize that uh, when the Horse Ranch expansion pack came out. So it was really cool to uh, try to achieve that look. And I know like it's hard to capture an entire state in a single build. Uh, it's just being inspired by the states and that's what it's been this whole time. And I've been having a lot of fun with it over the years. It's just I get a little overwhelmed by this series sometimes. I'm always worried that I'm going to get something wrong. Uh, there's a lot of research that goes into it. So that's why there aren't as many uploads <laughs> that often of this. Although I'm trying to get some more of these out by the end of the year because I think that would be a lot of fun to kind of power through maybe like one a week, maybe we shall see. Uh, so leave any suggestions down below of which states you would like to see next. I will also have the playlist down below if you'd like to check out and see which states we have already done because there's quite a few of them now. Uh, we're not even halfway there, but there's still quite a few that we have done. Uh, but jumping back into some facts about Texas because I have so much here. Um, the nickname for the state is the Lone Star State. And that's because in 1836, when the Republic of Texas declared itself as an independent nation, it flew a flag with a single star on it. Uh, and then kind of getting into the history of like how Texas became a state here and like how it's kind of changed <laughs> its, uh, I guess, ownership sort of. Uh, so in 1821, Mexico took control of the land, eventually calling the area 
Coahulia y Texas or Tejas. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But in 1835, settlers living in that province uh, rebelled, basically beginning the Texas Revolution. And they were defeated by the Mexican army, the rebels, at the 1836 Battle at the Alamo. And the loss inspired the settlers to fight on. And um, so you might have heard the remember the Alamo cry. (laughs) So Uh, Many joined that rebel army and Mexico gave up and then Texas became an independent nation called the Republic of Texas in 1836. Um, And but 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 there there was a little bit more here. I feel like this is such a long uh, explanation. I feel like this is one of the longer history lessons I've given in one of these speed builds. But basically they had to fend off the hostile tribes and Mexican troops was difficult for a small country. So Texas joined the United States in 1845, but in 1861, they left the Union, but they rejoined after the Civil War ended in 1870. So Texas is the 20th state, but they had quite a a long history on how they got to be a part of the United States. And um, I feel like there's always talk about Texas wanting to be its own thing still. And I actually have some more facts in here somewhere that relate to that because Uh, Maybe I'll skip it when I get to it, but I'm pretty sure states, uh, Texas is the only state that has their own independent power grid, uh, which is kind of cool. But anyway, (laughs) the outside of this build is really coming together now. We have a nice pond out front, lots of wrapping around like greenery and pathways. I do redo these pathways a few different times, though. You can see me doing that now. I also have a place for two horses uh, since I did start this (laughs) back when the pack first came out. And so I really wanted to include horses in this build. Uh, But yeah, we're just painting out some more of the terrain paint here, and I'm going to keep going through it and fixing things up throughout the build, trying to finalize it and make it look as nice as possible. So uh, you'll probably see that. But anyway, the state sport in Texas is the rodeo, and rodeo is a sport that tests skills and speeds of the, of like cowboys and cowgirls. Uh, American style professional rodeos generally comprise the following events, tie down roping, team roping, steer wrestling, saddle bronc riding, bareback bronc riding, bull riding, and barrel racing. So that's kind of fun and exciting. Also, the state insect of Texas is the monarch butterfly, which are gorgeous. I love monarchs. Uh, They're species of birds. They have more species of birds than any other state, including screech owls and hummingbirds. And the state plant of Texas is the prickly pear cactus, which I have quite a few of those in the front yard of this build. Uh, That was something I didn't immediately put down when I started building this. And I actually sent a picture of the outside when I started on this in July to my friend Shella. You probably know Rochella from Twitch. And uh, she was like, it needs prickly pear cactus. And I was like, thank you, Uh, because she, she used to live in Texas. So. I asked for her opinion and then I found it in my research a little bit later anyway. So there are plenty of those on the exterior of this build. I made sure to add a lot of that. But as you can see now, I'm working on the floor plan. This ends up being a five bedroom house and it's only one story. I really wanted it to be that more ranch style single story home. This is built on a 64 by 64 lot. So it's quite a big build. Uh, But the house itself is quite spacious, even though it barely takes up any space on this lot. It doesn't even take up half the lot, but it's still a huge house. And I was really, really happy with how it came out. Uh, Speaking of which, if you would like to download this build, it will be available in the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. Uh, Speaking of the prickly pear cactus, by the way, (laughs) the juicy red prickly pear fruits that are on them are often made into jams and jellies, pies and wine. And I had no idea about that. I just thought that they were pretty. I don't really know much about cactus because I live in New England. And so we just get a lot of snow here. Uh, there's not cactus growing anywhere. So it's it's just not something I'm very familiar with. Um, to, oh, here's the power grid information I wrote down. Texas is the only state in the continuous U.S. with its own power grid. Two others serve all the other states east and west of the Rockies, and it was the first built to guarantee energy supply for factories producing World War II supplies, which I thought was really cool. Also, Juneteenth, the federal holiday that celebrates freedom for enslaved people, started in Texas. 
Uh, because it's so close to Mexico, Texans uh, Texans have developed a cuisine that's a mix of Mexican food and American cooking called Tex-Mex. You're probably familiar with it. I really like Tex-Mex food. <laughs> so, um, Also, this one I didn't know. I'm very familiar with Six Flags, the amusement park, but I didn't know that Six Flags have flown over Texas, uh, which are the British, French, Mexican, Texan, United States, and Confederate flags, and that's how Six Flags Amusement Park got its name. I had no idea about that. I never really questioned why it was called Six Flags, but that's really interesting. Uh, also, Texas is home to the road with the fastest speed limit in the U.S. Uh, on a section of the Texas State Highway 130, the posted speed limit is 85 miles per hour or 137 kilometers per hour. So talking more about the build now, the kitchen is coming together here. I really wanted to have more traditional pieces as far as the built-in cabinetry was. Uh, that was something I was seeing a lot in the photos I was seeing in the various listings I found for homes that were more this style in Texas. Uh, I also wanted it to feel very lived in. I will be changing the color of the cabinets a little bit later though because I was kind of torn between this orangey wood tone and a darker wood tone and I do end up changing it a little bit later but I do like this one and I feel like it's very representative of a lot of the homes I was seeing. Also this funky shaped island counter was something I was seeing both in island counters and peninsulas in kitchens so I just wanted to include that. And uh, I just had fun picking out some rugs. I believe this one that I'm using is from, oh goodness. I wanna say that one might be from Get Famous, but I was also playing around with ones from Strangerville. And I also end up having two living rooms in this house. This one is more of like the formal entryway living room that just has a fireplace and some seating. I'm thinking you might sit here to just like have a conversation with somebody. Whereas we have a more large family room over on the other side of the house that has the TV and just like a lot more space for the family. So decorating this space now using the couches and chairs from the Horse Ranch expansion pack, but I used a lot of packs in this build. It's not limited whatsoever, uh, but of course there's a little bit of a focus on that pack as I feel like a lot of it works so, so well for this particular state. Uh, so I did use a lot of that in here and I'm just playing around with some flowers and I will be changing the rug in here. I do end up using this rug in a different room in a different swatch, uh, but I just kind of move things around and I have a lot of these mounted cow plant skulls throughout the house uh, because I was seeing a lot of that in a lot of the reference pictures that I was looking at were a lot of like animal skulls <laughs> mounted on the walls. So I wanted to represent that and I, I've done that with one build before in the past. I'm trying to think what which house it was it might have been Wyoming uh but we didn't have these yet and so I don't remember what I used I think it was like just mounted fish that I used as a stand-in for that but now that we have these with the horse ranch pack I think they are so perfect uh, and I just wanted a bunch of clutter up here on the uh, mantle so <laughs> just getting all sorts of stuff there trying to make it feel lived in and like there's a lot of character in this space and then over here by the front door, I wanted to make sure we had a space that looked like you could like store clothes or coats and things like that. Not that you're wearing too many coats in Texas. I don't think it gets too terribly cold there <laughs> in the winter time. I'm sure compared to the rest of the year, it gets a little bit cooler, but probably not too, um, too cool. And then I got like a little dresser and a chair over here. I just wanted like a space for you to put your shoes on before you headed out. And over on the other side of the door, there ends up being a shoe rack that has cowboy boots on it, which I thought was perfect. That's just a base game item. And I feel like I used the ones from the, uh, oh my goodness, Dream Home Decorator more often now, like the single pairs of shoes, but the base game one has cowboy boots. So I thought it was only fitting that I did that. And then this dresser just has like some clutter that looks like the entryway items you would expect. And uh, we should be grabbing, yeah, temperature controls in our fire alarm now, just putting those over here. Nice little rug by the front door. And here's those cowboy boots I had mentioned. I also have a place to hang up a hat and other materials before you go outside. We have a side door that connects you to sort of a garage space. And then this is gonna be the family room. And this is where I switched the rugs because I thought this one would look so much better in that entryway. It's so pretty. I love the colors. I used it throughout this house. It's actually a lot of reds and greens, which is interesting because I feel like I've just been so drawn to that color scheme lately, even though it's more of a Christmassy color scheme, but I've been enjoying using it in a way that doesn't feel Christmassy. And you can let me know if I achieved that in this build. I think I did, but 
of course, I'm open to what you think. And I'm always very curious about that. I'm always nervous about these state builds. Did I do it justice? Please, please let me know. Uh, but be gentle if I didn't do a good job. I'm always so nervous. Anyway, let's get back to some more facts because I have quite a few still written down and sometimes I forget to talk about the facts and then I've done the entire voiceover and then I have to redo it because I forgot to tell you the things I wrote down, which is a huge portion of these videos. Uh, so Texas is home to two national parks, the Big Bend National Park named after a famous bend in the Rio Grande along the U.S.-Mexico border and the Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Uh, named after the highest peak in Texas. Uh, they are two of the top natural places to visit in Texas. Also, Texas has played a large role in space ex exploration. NASA's Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center is the training grounds for many astronauts, while the Associated, Associated Space Center Houston is one of the country's best space museums. Uh, and with that, the popular phrase, Houston, we have a problem, originated in a radio communication between the Apollo 13 and the Control Center in Houston, Texas. Uh, also, Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny's famous phrase, what's up, doc, uh, originated in Texas. Looney Tunes animator Tex Avery, who introduced it, said it was a commonly heard phrase when he was growing up in Texas. Uh, also, the Texas State Capitol building in Austin is the largest state capitol building in the U.S. It was one of the largest buildings in the world when it was first constructed. Uh, also, more things. I have so many random facts. Not all of these are related. Uh, at the Cadillac Ranch Public Art Installation in Amarillo, Texas, uh, there are 10 art-covered Cadillacs buried a half buried in the ground. <laughs> the site inspired Bruce Springsteen's song of the same name. Uh, Amarillo also has the world's largest helium supply and has been called the helium capital of the world. Although Texas is often associated with the deserts of the southwestern U.S., only about 10% of the state is covered in desert. So this build kind of focuses on the more deserty aspects. Obviously, there's a lot of green involved in this area as well. I feel like Chestnut Ridge was kind of like the perfect area for me to build our Texas build. I feel like there were a couple other states that... I already built that were way before this pack came out that would have been nice to build here as well, but unfortunately they are already done. Uh, but if you have any other ideas for states that would be good in Chestnut Ridge or any specific worlds in general, if you're like, this state needs to be in this world, I understand. Uh, I would love to hear those suggestions because I'm, I'm familiar with like some of them that would have to be in certain worlds, but other ones, it's just going to be based on me researching it because I haven't been to that many states. Um, anyway, uh, Texas also has more tornadoes than any other state with 132 per year on average. That is wild to me. I have never experienced a tornado and that sounds really scary. If you live in an area that gets tornadoes, uh, is that something that just seems normal to you or is it really scary? I, I would really like to know that. Uh, traditionally, Texas dominated the cattle industry, but in recent years, in recent centuries, the economy has shifted to have more of a focus on petroleum, tourism, aerospace, and high-tech industry. Finishing up the kitchen now, I added this little coffee bar area, which has space for your coffee maker. There's also some various like other things to make coffee with. Hanging up above there, I think we have like a French press and a couple of other things. I also have some cookbooks, some mugs. I just thought this was a cute little spot to add that. And of course, getting some postcards hanging up above this area. And we have lots of paintings over here as well. I kind of bounced back and forth in this build as I got more ideas for other areas uh, through more research or more pictures that I was finding. So that is why we're kind of bouncing around. But working on the first bathroom here, which I believe is the ensuite to the primary bedroom. So we have a shower tub combo in here, sinks, all of that. I'm using like the same tiles that we're using in the kitchen. And these mirrors, I've just been really liking these lately. They are from Growing Together and I've been using them in a lot of my builds. They're just so beautiful and I think that they looked really nice here. So that's what I opted to use. I also got this nice like little linen closet piece that has towels and toilet paper and all of that in it. It is from Horse Ranch as well. So of course it matches this build very well. Uh, and then I just got a plant and some extra toilet paper on top of the toilet there. And I'm trying to remember what else I hang up in here. I think just this little painting of some sunflowers any towel by the sink. And uh, that should be pretty much it for this bathroom. I didn't overly decorate it. I just got like a couple of things on the sink, like toothbrushes and uh, soap, 
since this is, you know, a bathroom, I imagine that the parents of this household are probably regularly getting ready in. And then we're going to work on the primary bedroom. So I wasn't sure what color scheme I was going to go for at first. I really wanted to use the red rug, which didn't work out in the end. I ended up going with the same pattern, but in this beige swatch. And I brought in another one of those cow plant skulls. And I also have mirrors on either side of the bed. And I just think it looks so cozy in here. I also used this base game love seat, which I think is perfect for this home. Uh, and then I'm just grabbing a bunch of clutter items that I want to have on either bedside table to really make the space look lived in. I like to have more than just lamps on them. Also, like not everyone has bedside table lamps, but I tend to always add them in my builds. And I'm not sure why that is. I have one now, but I almost never use it. But for years, I didn't have one. <laughs> so I guess that's my question of the day. Do you have a bedside table lamp? And do you always put them in your Sims builds? Because I, I'm just curious, like... Is that something I should consider more in my builds? Because I, I pretty much always add them. It just feels like the thing I'm supposed to put on the bedside table. Uh, but anyway, I got lots of storage in here. We have a couple of closets, actually three closets. I also hung up up space for your Sims to have some like family portraits. And we got an ottoman at the end of the bed. And then we're moving on into a teenager's room. This one's very like purple, pink, and yellow. And I think it comes out so, so cute in the ends. I thought it was kind of a fun idea to add this cow print rug in yellow <laughs> as it is kind of the vibes of the house, but in the wrong color scheme. So I thought having that little bit of personality in the teens room was fun. I was thinking the Sim was pretty into riding horses. So we do have some like horse stuff in here. There's posters and um, I just think it's a really cute space. I also added that cactus poster. It is so pretty. The colors were beautiful. I was just really happy with this room. I think it's a little bit of a different color scheme than I've gone for in the past. And uh, I, I just think it's a really nice one. I was really happy with this room. So yeah, I'm just getting some clutter on the dresser here. I didn't have a bedside table. I just opted to have the dresser act as a bedside table. And then I just kept moving posters around and tried to figure out the best placement for everything. There's also a desk in this room for our teenager to sit down and do homework or whatever they would like to do. And uh, mirrors on the wall and <laughs> just decorating the space. I was trying to match wood tones the best I could. Obviously, they're not matching the floor, but they are matching the bedside table or the dresser and the bed. And I also, at some point in the middle of this build, changed the floor color in like all of the rooms. I can't tell if I've done it already, but I started the build with more of an orangey wood tone and then I toned it down a little bit. But anyway, over here, I'm just getting all sorts of stuff here. We have lots of books, that cute little book sculpture piece that is like a little house. From the book nook kit I really like. We have nail polish up here. I love this lamp that I was using throughout the house from the, uh, oh goodness, what is that pack called? I, I don't know why I forget it sometimes. Granite Falls is the world. Uh, outdoor retreat. I thought that that was really nice. And I also liked the idea of this home having quite a few family members in it. So I made a room for grandma or just grandparents in general. And it's just so cozy, this quilted bedspread. We have a rocking chair in here, space for knitting and cross stitching, all sorts of just like clutter. I love that dresser. I've talked about this before, but that dresser with the attached mirror just makes me think of my childhood and all of my family's homes because uh, I guess not so much anymore, but I feel like all of the wardrobes that anyone in my family had when I was growing up, they had the attached mirror. Whereas nowadays you just buy a dresser, it doesn't have a mirror attached. You can buy one and hang it on the wall above it if you'd like, but. Uh, having that attached piece just feels so realistic to me. But this is going to be the other kid's bedroom. I really wanted it to be this red swatch of this bed at first, but I just, it wasn't working. So I ended up completely switching the color scheme of this bedroom. Uh, I'll be doing that in a little bit here. I believe I ended up keeping the same bed. Yeah, but I just switched it to this swatch, which is more like teals, yellows, and browns. And I think it comes out so, so cute in here. I was really happy with it. It just didn't work <laughs> with the red, but that's okay. Sometimes it takes a while to get to that final color scheme, that final look for a room in The Sims, and uh, I was happy I stuck with it. Anyway, before we get further into the last bit of this video, I do want to go over the last three facts I have written down for Texas, and that is that the remains of a house dating to 14,000 years ago found near Austin may be the oldest house found in the United States. Also, the, t the soda, Dr. Pepper, was invented in Texas in 1885. And finally, the first frozen margarita machine was invented in Dallas, Texas, and was inspired by the Slurpee machines at 7-Eleven. So I thought that those were all really fun. We had some like history lessons. We had some fun things about 
margaritas. Like there was a, quite a combination there. And that tends to be what I do in my state builds where I have all kinds of fun facts, anything from like strange laws to like the history of the space. So uh, things you would like to see in future states, if there are certain facts you think are important or fun things to go over, where we should build it, what state we should do next, leave all of that in the comments. I would totally like to hear it uh, because I'm excited to be bringing this back. I never like intend to stop it. Like I said, it's all when I'm feeling inspired and <laughs> not too overwhelmed by the idea of it because uh, these are pretty in-depth builds. And as you can see by the length of this video, if you're still watching, uh, they're, they're pretty long voiceovers and the whole thing is just it's a lot, but it's so cool. And I, I really love how most of these come out. So I hope you're enjoying this. If you're still watching this at this point, let's have you, uh, can you comment Pop-Tarts in the comments? Just Pop-Tarts. Has nothing to do with the rest of the video, but you know, then I will know you are still listening at this point. And uh, I just think that's really cool. Thank you if you are still here. Uh, I really appreciate everyone who watches these videos. It really, it really means a lot to me. I, I just, I, I love this. It's so cool that I get to do this. Uh, but anyway, this is the final bedroom. It's kind of like a spare bedroom mixed with an office space. So I have a desk over here. So your Sims can work on the computer. I also really like this rug. It's from Horse Ranch as well. I used a lot of that in this build, but it's so pretty. There's so many nice swatches. I feel like the rugs we've gotten with the last few packs have been really nice. And uh, I'm excited to be building with the new for rent expansion pack sometime soon because it looks like it has some really gorgeous, gorgeous items in it as well. So uh, probably December is going to be full of apartment builds and things in the new world of Tomerang. So uh, be on the lookout for that. But I still also want to post a bunch of state builds. So tell me what you'd like to see. But anyway, this is going to be that garage space that is connected to the house, but you go outside to get into it. I also have the garage doors on either side, which I think is really cool. And I wanted to make sure to have laundry space in here because I think that's pretty realistic. Uh, and then I got all sorts of other activities and storage in here. So there's a place to hang up clothes in the corner. We have cleaning supplies. I have a thing to make nectar out here. And I believe, yeah, we got a woodworking bench out here as well. I end up having like the bucket of Christmas decorations or holiday decorations if your Sims would like to decorate for any of the holidays with the Sims Four Seasons and, you know, laundry baskets, a bunch of like decorative junk. <laughs> I just wanted it to look uh, like this space has a bunch of storage in it. And I think I achieved that. We have some nectar bottles over here. I also combined the shelving unit from the laundry day pack up above here. So we have some hangers and uh, a bunch of other stuff. I just was having fun decorating this space and I think it worked out quite well. I love how aged the cabinets look that are from this pack. They just look so nice in here. I also added another car in here uh, just to make it look more realistic and a lot of Sims live in this house so it makes sense for them to have multiple cars and I added some more cabinetry over here and some more storage so we have some boxes and old chairs and stuff little lamp, some cracks in the walls. And then we're back outside to redo this terrain paint because at this point I was still not happy with it. So we're erasing a bunch of it and we're going to play around with smoothing things out, adding more greenery around and really trying to get it to that final look because pretty much the rest of the build is done and I just wasn't happy with outside yet uh, with the plants and all of the painting. So I just wanted to fix that up. I get this little barrel by the front door with some flowers in it, a little barrel next to it. And uh, I think it looks so cute. I also added some more dirt on top of these pathways. It just felt more accurate. And I added some more dirt into the horses area as well. And I believe I should be getting some more greenery. And that is it. I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy those screenshots and I'll see y'all soon. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.